In 12 Inspires, many of you are trying to stick to your New Year's resolution of working out more, getting in shape, and getting healthy. Our Lainey Pope has been checking out some new workout routines with the help of our WXII 12 newsroom staff, <laughs> and she joins us now with this week's edition. Lainey. That's right. Well, last week you saw me try CrossFit, an intense workout for all ages and fitness levels. Well, this week I got to hang out with our assistant news director, Laura Levitt, and a group of women at Burn Boot Camp. There I found a close group of ladies, including Emily Leong. They support each other through thick and thin. Good morning, Lainey. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I think. I'm still sore <laughs> from working out the other day. You'll be fine. I hope so. Burn boot camp. Sounds a little like basic training to me. I'm not sure what I'll find when I enter, but my assistant news director, Laura Levitt, is eager to show me. You'll feed off the energy of it. It's loud music, the women are cheering you on, you're cheering them on. The burn workout is a 45 minute circuit and high intensity routine that mixes cardio and strength training. It's different, it's fast paced. I've never been in here and been bored. There are planks, lunges, and donkey kicks to name a few. And you'll be stepping, jumping, and running. You're not going to have the same workout um, in a week or in a month or even in a year. Um, you may see some of the same exercises. However, it's going to be broken up into different um, things each week. And you never know what's going to be put on that whiteboard. So it's a challenge every time you come in here. Emily Leong walked through the burned doors for the first time two years ago. It was a big step for her. When you walk in here, you see a lot of very fit women. And so after two years of not working out, that was a little intimidating. But it's not about competing with the other women in this class. It's about being better than who you are and your journey through um, fitness and getting better. In the last two years, Emily has lost 50 pounds. Her burn sisters took notice and they continue to cheer her on. And their support goes beyond the workout. During her time at Burn, Emily decided to get a divorce, a difficult decision, especially because of her two-year-old daughter. On days when I didn't want to be here or days when I struggled to keep it together, they were here for me and um, supported me and gave me hugs. And I think that had it not burn, been for my Burn sisters, I, I'm not sure how I would have made it. Emily's daughter is also one of her inspirations for working out. With free childcare, Emily brings her along. And I have a kid who loves to exercise, and that to me is great, that I have a kid who loves to do burpees and push-ups and jumping, and is just very active. Good job, keep it up guys, keep it going. Of course there's lots of activity, and you can track your progress with your personal trainer. Um, you get to do your body weight, your BMI, and go through all of your measurements and your um, your weight and we just we sit down with you and talk about your goals and kind of what you're wanting to reach along the way it's extremely rewarding for me to see each and every person walk through those doors and reach those goals that they have no matter how small or how big they may be i mean i feel mentally better i feel sharper when i'm coming here every day um, there's also i think just a sense of pride of the accomplishments i've made over the last two years this has given me so much confidence um, in myself, not just physically, um, but emotionally and mentally. Um, I feel so much more better about myself doing these workouts and coming in and looking at that board and going, I can do that. Well, Emily, you are truly an inspiration. I want to thank her for being so real with us and, and sharing her journey. And while we were exercising, she was cheering for me. I was struggling at times, especially in trying to do what I learned is called a double under with a jump rope. It has to go under your feet twice on one hop. I still can't do it. She said she still can't do it. So she's been trying to do it for years. So that's something we can work on together. Maybe we'll get it one day. Well, next week, I'm going to throw my hat into the ring with reporter Meredith Stutz for nine rounds. We're going to meet Charles. He shares his story blow by blow. Oh.